Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan if you are tuning in for the very first time. We are playing Satisfactory today because it is launch week and because our thousand hour plus save seems to be working just fine in 1.0. So we're going to jump right in. And I need to let everybody know that while normally I mute my phone during streams, I need to leave it on because I'm expecting some Amazon deliveries and they are related to the new camera that I bought and shared in an unboxing video that should be live on YouTube later today. And uh, the VOD is available on Twitch if you're watching on Twitch. And uh, it is a really lovely thing to be able to do what I do and be able to improve what I do thanks to the support of all of you. So thanks very much. Uh, but I may have to dart downstairs to uh, let the Amazon guy or girl in the building uh, because the what's arriving today the HDMI cable and the Elgato mount that I bought for the camera is coming in today and then I think tomorrow is the power supply so yeah I needed it all before the weekend normally I try to group all my Amazon stuff into one delivery just because it's greener to do that and I'm normally fine for timing but this was the only way to get everything to me before the weekend because I want the weekend to troubleshoot with the camera in order to get it ready for the Spawn Trunks podcast on Monday. And we will have even more news on the Spawn Trunks on Monday, so don't miss that. Cosmic Dancer, good to see you. Thanks for the work and the lurk. Appreciate it. Crosshatch, hello, welcome back. Dan Grice, of course. Scotsman UK hanging out, and uh, I'm sure Sweet Sandy is around here somewhere. Got a couple of follows that happened in the last few hours. We've got uh, Nitrinoxos has followed and Wezcraft has followed. That was yesterday. That was probably just after I sent a raid over. Uh, who did I raid yesterday? I think it was Bits. I think it was Bits. I've been trying to raid Total Eclipse lately because Total is doing such a great job and, and uh, trying to promote his um, second YouTube channel. So I've been trying to send people over to bits. So where are we here? Uh, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit more Sam going because we have how many of these do we have now? 15 and we need like a couple hundred of these. So I think we'll make a quick trip. It also may be worth building some foundations. So I'll bring some extra concrete with me just to see if we can get um, some automatic mining happening and we don't have to go quite as far I'm not gonna be able to bring it in via train but I can at least put it in a bin somewhere is not in the depths of the caves and do I have any additional miners I've got 13 that should be plenty how many things are in there there's Four. Yeah, we've got four nodes, so I'm going to need eight miners. Let's just make a couple more. Why not? That'll give me eight for myself. And... I guess I should just make sure I have all the things I need. Logistics, production, Mark two miner, two, three, four. Uh, bins, I'll need two. I'm sure it'll be fine. I normally have all the things I need. Uh, what speed are those? Because we are going to need to put some decent belts on those. That is normal, normal. I believe these are two pure, pure nodes. So pure nodes will need 600 a minute. So those are Mark V belts. And this is 300, right? Yeah. So I'm also going to need some power shards. I like that we're getting straight to work today. 
I'm going to need more than seven. 26. That should do us. And just have to make sure I'm bringing enough aluminum and steel for the belts. Oh no, right. Concrete and aluminum. Where are we storing our aluminum, if anywhere, is the next question. Where, 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 where? We have those. Good. Is that aluminum? Aha. Perfect. I'm thinking about raising the back platform, and I'm also thinking about figuring out if I wanted to put a train down the middle here, how high above this do we want to go? Like, do we want to go as high as that bridge or not? I should just bring the construction train over there. That way we'll have all the things we need. Constructicon 1. I did indeed call it Constructicon 1. We are going to go to Construction uh, 2. We are going to go to Where is it? Green Valley Scavenger. So has anyone in chat been playing Satisfactory? Are you uh, new to the game? Or have you been resetting with a lot of other people? I had a really nice compliment yesterday. I was watching Cubfan135, who was one of my favorite Minecrafters, play Satisfactory for the first time. It was his second day, and I was in his chat, and I didn't want to backseat, but he was asking some questions, and I tried to point him in the right direction as he was trying to get to coal power, and he said, like, oh, hey... Uh, if Joel, the master <laughs> satisfactory player, is in chat, I'll take what he says. And I was like, I don't know about Master Cub. But he uh, he's, he was a little frustrated, and I, I hope he sticks with it, because he's such a good streamer and Minecrafter, and I know that he'd like this game if he got really into it. Or I, I feel like he would. I don't know him that well. Uh, Hermits have done the co-op thing. So Cub was doing it on his own. I know that Exumavoid was doing a co-op thing, but who else played the co-op with Exumavoid? I've been consuming so much satisfactory content lately that I just have not been able to keep up. So we are going to bring Qu Quartz and Sam out this way. And we do not have anywhere to put it. Uh, I guess what we'll do is set up a couple of spaces here. That will be the potential end position for it and probably, probably down there because all of these are being currently used. So we'd have to add cars if we eventually want to bring it back with the train for now i'm just going to manually trek it back whenever we can i'm really only worried about the sam right now the quartz is not something we can utilize at the moment and the other question that i had did i build this on the world grid it does not oh maybe 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 i did i did not that's another reason why this train station needs to get completely redone, is because I did not build it on the grid. It's okay. Looks like it was the right height, though. Nope. 
Also not the right height. Okay. So we will, I guess... I don't want to do this on the grid. So for people that don't know, if you hold control, then these things will snap to the grid. And so even though I've placed this down here, it still lines up vertically and horizontally. Right? So it's on the grid. So we will just bring this straight in there. I feel like I have a hot bar for this kind of stuff. These are using sheets. Let's use concrete instead. Oh, I forgot about my blueprints. Don't need to do that, I don't think. There's the nodes right over there. Um, I guess I could turn this on a forty five. Doing it on the wrong side. How do we do this again? Doesn't matter. We are going to need a bigger ramp. The echoes are really intense. Oh, it's way over there. Where are the nodes? Oh, they're way, way, way in there. Past the big tree. A lot farther than I thought. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, they're way in here. All right. Being on the grid is no longer a, a need. Uh, it's Cub, Hypno, and Wells Knight are all playing together. I didn't know that. So Cub's got two playthroughs? All right, so we've got Quartz here. works. Nice and straight. You are almost in the middle, my friend. That's the two quartz. <laughs> Cosmic Dancer. Dear Twitch mobile app, you suck. Okay, thanks. Bye. I was trying to watch Cub on my TV last night, and the TV was great. I was watching it on the Twitch app on on Xbox. It's not a great app, but it, watching it was fine, as long as you didn't touch anything. But then to try and chat on my phone, I had to have the whole video up. I mean, I paused it, but like I had this teeny tiny little like quarter inch of space to read chat. Full chat doesn't work on, on the mobile app for Twitch. It's horrible. Uh, Dan Grice says, I've decided not to use the, any tutorials for things and try to work it out myself. Oh, okay. So yeah, I didn't want to give Cub too much help. He was really close to putting his his um, coal factory in a really good spot, but he ended up going with a different location. And um, I've built there before, and it's not impossible, but it's frustrating. And I just didn't want to tell him just go north to the giant lake. I just he he looked at it like a thousand meter was was far, but it's just like when you first play Minecraft and you think a thousand blocks is far, and then after ten years of Minecraft, a thousand blocks is nothing, right? The power system was really bugging Cub because I think I don't remember what Cub's background is in terms of his, his previous jobs in life, but I feel like he's got an engineering background. And I think because power in this game doesn't work exactly how power works in real life, I think it kind of threw him a little bit. Uh oh, we may have to go higher here. I think I may want to just go with it. You guys hear that? <laughs> it's even echoing. One more way back here. Oh, look, a slug. I really like the new sound effects for the slugs. Now, I guess... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to end up using a lift anyway. I think Total was saying on his stream earlier that they fixed the way that these foundations snap. So it doesn't matter which foundation you use. If you use the one meter, two meter, or three meter, or four meter, they all snap to the grid correctly. So that's a four. That's a two. And like it snaps to either 
the top of the four or the bottom, right? And then same thing if I did a one, then it snaps to the right spot, right? Well, that's weird. That's really cool. I didn't know it did that. Maybe that's a glitch, but man, I wish it did that in real, in real application. That's awesome. That's fun. It'd be really cool if you could, if you can get dirty um, stuff. I feel like they could have a few, um, what do you want to call it? Like DLC packs where you can get like nothing that changes the game, but just like pure aesthetics, right? This is a lot easier to do too. Before you used to have to go down underneath and actually look at the the miner or actually look at the node and you don't have to do that anymore. Which is nice. So, I'm going to bring this along here somehow. My guess is that we're going to have to go up. And because I am a stickler for the details, this is not going to be straight. It's close. So one of the things we can do is just make sure that this part is on the up and up. And I think maybe I'll do it. What's happening there? Creature. Okay. I could have sworn I had pillars in here somewhere. should be okay. Maybe just to give us a little bit of extra room. Nope. We'll have to do a couple of zigzags here. That's fine. connect this is going to need six hundred per minute that's going to need its own belt just realized I didn't bring any power in here either so four belts in total just because I'll want to keep the Sam separate
so I could combine we could combine the Sam and the Quartz on the one belt and then separate it with a smart splitter that is probably what I'm gonna do so I only need three belts starting from the front Do I think I'm just going to stack them. Is the construction noise too loud for people? Do I need to look into seeing if I can lower that? That is going to be the first turn. And this. We'll probably do this just one more. A little bit loud, but could because you're in a cave. Yeah, there's definitely an echo. That's 100% happening. All right, so this will attach here. And then we'll have turn. And then this will join here. I can probably line up with that one, no problem. So this will join here, which means the conveyor pole should probably be in, this in that position. Probably won't reach. I probably need one more pull. The final slam is distinctly louder than you, and I remember thinking the other day, but it's only when you're building lots. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can just turn the actual game capture down. One thing we could try is that there is a settings for factory volume, but I feel like that's the actual machines. The equipment volume didn't seem to change anything. Factory volume. 85. Let's turn this down to like 27. And see if that changes anything. No, that, that to me was the same volume, right? So the factory volume is not that. It must be the sound effects. I'll we'll take this back up to 85. Ambient, consumable volume, creatures, equipment, factory, player, foley, vehicle volume, and weapons volume. Effects volume. So that's changing like all the, cre like I can hear the ambient going down. Uh, UI volume. Firm. Nope, that was the same. Oh, I didn't change it. Hmm. 
Now, and I like the UI volume. The UI volume is handy, I think. But now my cave volume is low too, right? So it's part of the effects volume. That's part of the issue. Um, but that means, unfortunately, you're not hearing things like the, the, the cave and the other stuff. So, because there's like a weird thing happening in the background here. So effects, dialogue, master UI, music volume, humor mode, mu licensing music. Yeah, that's too bad. I kind of, under sound effects, I really wish they could change creature equipment volume. Yeah, like they need the build gun as a thing. Yeah, I agree, Scotsman. It should be a specific thing under equipment. I agree. All right, well, let's put it at, like, can you guys still hear the spiders and stuff if I put it at, like, 75? Yeah, with the chainsaw, yeah, the chainsaw was terribly loud. I, it, it was an awful experience. <laughs> awful, awful experience, for sure. I think I can connect these. Uh, this will be Mark V belts. You do not fit. Of course you don't. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, silly jetpack. Just have to figure out where this is going to connect. guess would be about here. It is one of those games where it's faster to um, pick the item out of the universe than it is to go into your inventory sometimes. But this doesn't need to have anything on it but the top pole. I really wish these had different models to them.
I'm going to have to put that one more over. Just because I am that kind of detail-oriented person. Now, we should be able to do some nice crisp belts. Curious how this is going to work. So if I want to use, what is this going to be doing? Three something? 300. So I need a mark or and I should be able to just change the belt mode by hitting R to get a right angle without having to worry about whether this is on the grid or not. And that is flippin' awesome. All of your eye twitchy moments <laughs> are a thing of the past, my friends. How nice and tidy is that? Brilliant. Straight mode is so good. So good. All right, so this is going to be joining. Um, I'm not sure why I made it that high. To be honest, it didn't need to be that high. Figure that out again. Uh, this will have to come out straight. So this can actually be on a merger. But I'm gonna probably have to adjust where we put this because this I think is almost on on a grid. And again, this is more for practice than it is for any real need. I'm just kind of understanding the new build modes, seeing what I can accomplish. Yeah, I guess I could turn it sideways and put the merger somewhere along here oh no I think I had that in the right spot merger happens there I just have to make a right turn so then this is actually probably in the right spot I just need to move it over Yeah, and then this just goes up by one. And then we're on... We're gonna be on the top. So I don't need this pole at all, actually. We should be able to connect these poles. So for example, we're coming in high. We should be able to just take the belt from here at this level and connect to this guy. Oh, it's just it's too far. Oh, weird. So it's not... Huh. To 
Does it not reach? Yeah, it's too far in can't remember the name of the distance like there's as the crow flies and then there's like travel distance like on the ground so we do need to have a little bit of zigzag here that's fine so this should work Yes. Okay. Cool. Straight mode. Now, this is on the same level. So this does not need to be up any higher. It actually needs to be lower. It could actually be... No lift is required for this. We can just straight up conveyor pull it. And actually, I feel like in this case... That's going to look nicer. Try this again. Sweet. And then we've got, I think they go six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. This might work. I was so close. Oh, it does. It does reach. Sweet. So you can see what I'm doing by just putting down the grid of concrete and then removing it. Just an easy way to count and get things sort of the way that you want. So then this, we should be able to snap a merger here. And then hopefully a lift like that. Yeah, the new way these things snap together is way friendlier. So good. Uh, the only trick, I may have put that too low, because now that's on the middle. Now that's on the middle. Well, we could lower everything. Oh, interesting. They've changed some of the ways that these things work. Yeah, I can't build there. 
Oh, it's creature. I thought it was the architecture. Did you miss anything? I don't think so. Yeah, your hatred for minor connections just evaporated, right? Like, it is so much easier to get a straight connection to a minor now. If you are someone that really likes straight lines, then you are in luck. I kind of think that we should uh, take this down. I think maybe here, if it'll work. I'll bring it down here. And it's too fat. It's too soon. That's annoying. I uh, could always move it forward one. Or we could take it. Probably can't take it up. Oh, we can. That'll work. That will work. In that case, we'll just get rid of this. And I'll put down a nicer looking pole. Should be the top. Please tell me this is going in the right direction. No, why are you? Yeah. It's weird that the the dotted line goes in the opposite direction of where you think it's going to go. A little strange. So this is going to have its own line, and it is simply going to connect to. Um, the top here, so we should be able to just line this up like so. Guys, this just got so easy. So easy. Invalid bell shape. Well, okay, I lied. It's It's just a little bit off. I thought I lined that up. Maybe it was lining up with the center and not the um, the opening. It's giving me the right the right dealio. Huh. Weird. I mean, not a big deal. I can just go the other way around. Line it up here first. And then from here, we can use straight mode. Yeah, so there's there's little little tricks, I think, that you could use. I generally annoyed my friends by building because I would be both all straight lines are lovely and watch me build this insane round building all at once. <laughs> yep. I can see that. So we're going to bring the power in along these um, conveyor supports as well, so it'll mean less to do in there as well. Less things to build. That can just stay just like it is. Maybe we'll add a little bit on the back.
So now we've got two belts, and I don't need that. This can actually be just a pole. Honestly, we could delete the poles. Once we have them actually set up, they could just kind of hover there if we really want them to. So then this same thing, the idea here is probably going to be to connect this to the very bottom. So we'll just use the lift in the position we want it to be for the belt. And then we'll just use straight mode for this. You don't have to worry about the foundations at all. It just snaps from minor grid to the grid there. I'm really surprised they didn't bother to align some of the nodes to the grid, unless they think that that's a good player challenge. I just know that so many people prefer things to be off grid. Do I need to do anything here? I should say off grid. They prefer things to be on grid. Um, this needs to change. That might be too far. Yeah, too far. Okay. Uh, we will do something here. Such a cool straight line. I'm actually really glad we decided to do this because it gives me a lot of good practice on how to address the rest of Devastator and all of the different little things we're going to have to have to do. I guess that moving all of the nodes over a little would have driven everyone crazy. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, the other solution would be to have some connections that previously were not allowed be allowed. That would be the other thing, right? Okay, so those are the pillars and the goodies. Now we've got three from there, and now we just have to get way, way, way over there. Easiest thing to do is probably going to be just to grab a belt and like see how far we can get it. Right, so like a belt there and then build a foundation. I thought you could turn these slower, maybe not. Oh, you can on the on the earth. So this I'm less worried about being on a grid. It's more about the height grid than anything else. If I do this, and I then place something underneath it and twist it. I can place the foundation though. I think.
Yeah, these don't snap to the world grid. Uh, Stormdance says, I'm learning about a lot about conveyor placement here. The biggest challenge I've had yesterday was keeping my long conveyor lines from turning into spaghetti. Yeah, stacking them and getting vertical is usually a good, good way to keep things organized. I guess we're just going to go in little bits of 45 degree angles. That's probably how this is going to have to go. Provided this can even reach. So in some cases I can't use the right angle one, right? This is how we set up everything in the forest. In the uh, the red forest. Another tip is to build from the top down. So like if you're down below, it's always easier to build top down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, Cosmic Dancer. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just going to finish this one curve and then I need to jump and take a break. Does the build sound a little bit better now? Much better? Cool. Make you work for the salmon and the quartz in the rocky desert. Oh, I forgot about the side conveyor poles. That would work too. Now, where am I going? Kind of out this way in general.
I need to scoot back out. We need to figure out where the power is coming from anyway. Uh, I need to take that break. I need to stay on top of the brakes today. And when we come back, we'll hook it all up to power. Although, man, this is really going to take a little while. Much farther than I remember it being yesterday. Much, much farther. Like, you almost want to bring a train in here. You know? Speaking of trains, at least we have one here. So I'll just add a couple of nodes to the timetable. Uh, construction one, we will not go back there. Let's go to construction two and to Megatron and turn on self-driving. Cool. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat my coffee. It gives you a chance to tell a friend about the stream. We are trying to grow the channel in September. Uh, subs are 25% off and uh, I really appreciate your support. I will be back in about five or six minutes. I think the train is quieter too, unfortunately.
I completely forgot what station I was at. And I knew that this traffic jam was going to happen. I should have left construction one on the list. Let's just try it to see if that works. Put construction one and devastator up on the list. We'll remove those two. And then I will just turn off self-driving. Back her up. We would really be causing a traffic jam here. Now construction uh, construction one and Green Valley. So this should go right. Now zero T sixty six. What's up? Word near to five. Good to see you. We're learning all kinds of stuff today. I absolutely love straight mode for for conveyor belts. This is indeed a train station. Storm dance. Have you not seen the train station before? I have to raise it up, I think. I have to raise it up. I want to make a train line that goes down the middle of Devastator. Uh, Elkhorn, the update is treating me very well. We had some crashes on day one, but uh, so far the 1.0 release is great. We had one crash yesterday over a four hour stream. Uh, zero T66, no. I'm not sure why I'm using your full name. Uh, this is update. Update one. The version number is in the top left-hand corner. I'm not sure why that's still there, actually. Now that it's update one. I'm kind of surprised they still have that. Uh, there's a hotfix just released. I... Do I know? I verified my files before I started. I gotta be careful here because I don't want this to actually load or unload, right? That's the other thing I gotta be careful about. Uh, how are we doing for aluminum? Not great. Let's see if we can bring a few things in. What else am I missing? Concrete would be good. Do I not have aluminum on this train? I don't. Gross. That might be a problem. Oh, we are probably going to run out of aluminum. Or arg. All right. Trying to resist getting drawn back into this. I could really risk it. Um, result in me being dangerously distracted. It's a fun game. I mean, I get to do this for my job. 366.202 is the latest release. Um, yeah, but why, like it's for me, I can see it in the top left-hand corner. Like it's always on the screen. I'm not sure why it's still there. Is there a way to open the game uh, notepad when you don't have any items on your to-do list? like having the game notes, but every time I want to edit it, it's I use the workaround. So uh, hit E, no, sorry, Q. Bring up Q, and then um, see how the, there's, if there's nothing on my to-do list, so for example, if I edit this and I remove those two things and I close this, it's not there. If I put my mouse over here, see the, the dark um, black kind of shadow that shows up? Just click that and then say like, Storm dance. Oops. Notes of notey. Unfortunately, you have to hit the X, otherwise it doesn't it doesn't save. Well, they fixed coal. That's good. Cub fan will be happy. 
I don't know if he experienced the bug, but I was really worried the bug was going to happen and really cheese him off. <laughs> I was watching his stream yesterday. Oh, we are so far from bringing this stuff out here. I am uh, somewhat annoyed. I wonder if I can just... Maybe I should pull some temporary power. No, that's a bad idea. I could probably place a couple of poles, though, on my way back. One, two, three, four, five, six. getting there. Such a long way. I think the better solution to this would honestly have a train go through here. Which I probably should have done once I realized it. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on. Can I get just to there? That's a little bit of a faster way to do it. Oh, you're welcome, um, Storm Dance. No problem. No problem.
I'm not worried about being fancy here. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can just go vertical with this a little bit. Let's see if this will actually do it. Looks like yes. Still think that's too far? Just about. Yep. from here can I get all the way down there probably not I can get to here though surely that works oh auto save glitch uh, I'm actually gonna do a manual save too I don't think I have to do 1.0 anymore. I think it's pretty obvious that we're in 1.0. Uh, we are doing the Quartz and Sam. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Uh, what on earth is this build mode zoop? Uh, it is, um, this. Uh, if you hit R, it's vertical, default, and zoop. It changes in the middle of the screen. So vertical is what you think it is. Up to 10 in a row, vertically. Default is one at a time, and then zoop is horizontal, up to 10. And you can do that with blueprints too, so you can actually create, like, a, a lot of stuff. Uh, we've got that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry for all the flashiness in your face. The, the jetpack is a pain in that way. Now, uh, how can we get this over here in an orderly fashion? I could just jump on top of all of this. There's not enough room. So we'll probably cross things over. I'll just run it right along here. Pretty 
pretty sure this was on the grid, right? Yeah. So here we could just extend this. Um, I guess we're going to have to eventually do a left hand turn here. We'll probably do that right here. Should be able to now switch to ooh, the hover pack. Yes. I have to put the pull down first. Pull power from the train station. Gavenger. Yeah, I would say we probably want to pull from that pole there. Or. See where we can get this. One, two. This is where it's no longer on the right grid. But I'm curious now what this could be for us if we use the straight method. But it's only off by a little bit. Okay. So it goes as straight as it can and then it gives you like a little juke. Okay. I mean, like, not great, but it'll do. So then the easiest thing to do is going to be to pull power. And maybe what we should do is just to make sure that this is very clear and obvious is pull power from here. And... I'll go down. And all I was thinking was, I believe we can put these on these poles. Yes.
So now we should be able to just. I mean, that's not the best. We should be able to just fly all the way back because this will just provide us with the power. This was actually a lot closer to being finished than I thought it was. I think that one's going to look slimy. Yeah, not as cool looking. Obviously it's a visual glitch. It looked neat the first time it happened. Thankfully, the power reach is farther than the belt reach, so we're not going to have any issues along here. I think this will eventually become a train line, but we'll go with this for now. Ooh, tricky. Hmm. Are you able to fly further from the power nodes in 1.0? No, I don't think so. I I felt the same sort of restrictions. The few times that I've used the hover pack, I've I've found it's been the same. I realize I'm putting these nodes on the wrong side. Maybe it's time here to cross over. How awful does that look? Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> All the miners are on the left hand side. I guess it doesn't matter when you hit places like this. Um, the other thing you can do is stuff like this. You can go right through. Hides the wire. just adding more nodes but sometimes it works sometimes it does not Sometimes I just can't help myself and I need to make things look tidy. be on the right side over here or sorry we'll be on the left side but we'll be on the correct side sorry i can see chat ticking by just give me one second here uh cosmic dancer take care always great to see you appreciate that uh you're very very busy but it's wonderful 
to have you here whenever you can be. Now, somewhere I obviously missed connection. This should start pumping out some quartz. And now we can fly back and forth. Everything's powered. It's just a matter of... So this is a merger. So it'll get quartz and Sam. That's all working. That's going to be a big quartz line. This is all working. I think the only thing I wanted to switch was this little bit here somewhere. Where did I cross over? Here. We'll do this. Um, I will go from there to here. There to here. And from there to the other side. That's nicer looking. Okay, so now we just need to do the poles. And we'll see how much we can get done with the aluminum. I think we're going to run out of our aluminum for belts. But this is so much faster with the power in here. I may... Uh, have made a mistake earlier when I went in here with just the jetpack. It might have been better to come in here with the power first. That's not right. I feel like um, the thing that's mentioned on one of his videos is that snapping in general is better is very true. I find this a lot easier. I've, I felt like it was a lot more finicky in the past to try to put um, things like this that would go over an existing build. You'd have a heck of a time trying to place it correctly. And I really feel like this is going well. Uh, it's a lot more intuitive. It seems to go where you point your mouse. Oh, that's going to be... I didn't do that. I didn't plan that very well, did I? Alright. Temporary solution. I guess I could probably just lower that. I feel like these are better too. I feel like the straight, um, the straight vertical orientation is better. It gives you like a little, a little jut of straight pipe or straight belt rather. I like that. It is easier to build with the hover pack and jetpack mostly move you around. Oh, for sure, yeah.
I'm interested to build with trains and see how the rails snap. Yeah, me too. I think the ne I think the first big thing I want to do uh, is fix our roundabout and really make like a permanent decision. Because I think that a lot of what I want to do with Devastator, I can't do until um, I have a proper train timing. Oh, yeah, we're already we're already out of aluminum. Okay, well this should be a little bit faster going back anyway. fell off. So we need to go get some aluminum. I need to put it on the train, actually. So the first thing I need to do is get this off of its own little leg. I need it to have its own roundabout access. It needs to be on the roundabout, and right now it's not. It just connects to this devastator's spoke of the track, and this is not good. Because it tries to go through the construction station. Yeah, unfortunately, when I turn down my build noises, I also turn down the train. Which, I mean, good or bad, I don't feel like I'm shouting over it anymore. Is the train better at this volume? Should I turn trains down in general? Yeah, the, there's something funky about the roundabout. Um, I'll take a look. I'll show you when I get up here. This is also crazy. I don't like that we get stuck in here. Like, I can't get out. Like, it just always puts me... I'm stuck. This is a real... real problem. Yeah, like, that's annoying. I don't have to destroy my train thing. I mean, this is another reason why I think I have to redesign the train station, right? Yeah. So, unfortunately, that design no longer works. Which is too bad. Um, I, did, I did say I wanted to raise this up, so maybe the thing for me to do is to... Now definitely raise it up so I can avoid that problem. So I don't have the satisfactory calculator map loaded up. Uh, it was not working yesterday. But, um, here's the thing. That's our current roundabout, and while it functions pretty well, uh, I don't like this connection that goes up the hill. Uh, I'm okay with that spoke, but the rest of this is a hot mess. And I really kind of feel like the location of our old uh, roundabout is really where the new roundabout should be. I think I should also make it bigger. And what you can see underneath it is all these measurements I did to try to make it in the middle of the lake. And it looks good on the map, but it does not really work practically in our setup. Uh, so I really feel like I need to do something a little bit more central. And I, I think I just need to look at that area and maybe have it go over that little land bridge. Kind of like, not, not this um, uh, little old roundabout station, but like the, the flat stuff just behind it. Where there's those little those little patches of green and the gray and not the gray but the beige, I feel like that's probably a good space for it. I don't know. I need to kind of look around and see what me might be a good spot. But I feel if we did something there, we could make it just a little bit bigger, 
And if it was a little bit bigger, then we may not have the issues that we do for um, having to have two levels. Uh, we could have it be single level. I mean, two levels looks cool, I guess, but it's just a kind of a pain. So that's kind of where we are. I really miss being able to go into your inventory when you were in the hypertubes. That's something else I miss too, because I jump in with the hover pack, but then switch to a jet pack while traveling in the hover tubes. Now I thought that I had, was it over here? Yes. Quick trip. The train is okay like that? You hear it enough? Okay, that's good. Because I can turn the trains down separately, but I can't turn down the effects separately. I wonder if I should take my break now. Let's do... Let's do the nighttime break thing. Speaking of trains. Mm. Cool. I'm a little ahead of my one hour break time, but uh, the sun's gone down in Satisfactory and it could be very hard, especially in a cave, to see what we're doing. So we are just going to go on a quick break a little bit early and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right, we're back. Yeah, I think there's a lot we could do with those straight belt tools as we add new nodes to Devastator. Um, something like that. Although that's pretty tidy. I'm probably, I probably kept that on grid. I don't even know if Devastator's on grid. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if we could even do that back when I started Devastator. It is easy to test. Yeah, I agree. I forgot all about the horn. It is easy to test. I mean, I'm not rebuilding Devastator, but there are certain things that I would like, def definitely like to decorate and move on from. I feel like there needs to be some real changes at the front because I feel like all my screenshots for Devastator are kind of lackluster. But Devastator was very much measured out to be in the middle of the Dune Desert, so like... If you look at me, my, my player, like I'm traveling pretty much right down the middle of the dune desert. So it's very central. I really am not difficult to see. <laughs> You're not my green and purple. <laughs> I do kind of wish we had like a No Man's Sky third person insatisfactory Folks, if you're out there just listening, uh, I am trying to grow the channel. We do have tier one and uh, one month and three month subs are on sale for September. And uh, you can also just join the, the Discord via Patreon. And that's at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. But really, what I'd love to have is just more eyeballs on the chat. And that's free. Um, you can always just tell a friend or share it around. Going into the fall, we're going to be streaming a lot more. Uh, as I mentioned earlier this week, we've got some new visual stuff happening as well. Because we have a new camera. Still waiting for the other pieces to arrive. Looks like they might be arriving between um, now and 4.30 my time. So... Hopefully. Um, I should just probably keep all the aluminum on me. I'll put the rest in here when I'm done. See, like being able to switch something like that on the fly in the hypertube was really, really good. I don't know where these shafts of light are coming from in this cave, though. There's some sort of weird lighting glitch happening. I know Cub was complaining last night on stream about how these things often go to the other side, and I agree, the, the power poles and stuff are still not the best. It's
it's ridiculous how long it takes to set stuff up in Satisfactory. And then the execution, once you've done the planning, seems to just be super quick. It's this interesting balance of like time up front versus uh, pulling the trigger and creating the thing and having it go like super smooth. You know? I feel like that noise is us coming in range of uh, of a factory that's that's off. Well, I guess in the first real work stream since 1.0, I mean, we did a lot of um, a lot of planning and looking around, but we, um, yeah, see, look, there's the default and there's the straight belt. So it does do a nicer job vertically too. I feel like we've reestablished quartz and I think we have more quartz now than we did before. Uh, three nodes instead of two. I feel like this dotted line should be traveling the other way. Okay, so now I need bins and I guess we're going to put it on another car? That seems like the smartest thing to do. Uh, do I necessarily need quartz to come into the base right now? No. Do I need Samor to come into the base right now? It would be nice. Um, it would only be temporary, but that would be fine. Maybe we'll just put like a separate car. Yeah, let's just do, we'll load the train up. Not this train, we'll load scavenger up and we'll just not export it at Devastator. We'll, um, we'll keep it. Just keep it on the train. And that way, delete two of those. Oh, that was a weird noise. Fix a pioneer benefits include 15 minutes of rest per day. Oh, that's the two hour reminder. Oh, there were, f what? What happened there? That was weird. I didn't delete a full I don't know what happened there. One of those might have been like an old thing. That's really weird. Why was that? There was that? Those were empty platforms, right? I didn't delete a container. The big tomato. Hello. Welcome in. I don't know how many cars we're going to need, so we'll just do one of each right now. Uh, we'll do Sam and Quartz, and I think we'll do Quartz first. Sam, I guess we have to come up with a new color. Maybe that's the purple. Purple and purple. And so we will have the bin probably just be the other direction. I 
Yeah, that looks to me like that's the grid, and that's why I was planning my my rail on the grid. Quartz, and we'll do that's input there. Oh, cool! You can see the you can see the stuff, the inputs and outputs through the. Foundations. Has that, has that always been a thing? Don't know where that has to be. I guess I've sort of put this in the wrong spot. I never judge these very well. That looks right. Okay. Uh, the Big Tomato, how did you find out about the stream, if you don't mind me asking? Always fun to hear about how people found us. He's in the middle. Uh, no, just off to the side. These these are Mark Fives. Do they need to be Mark Fives? Probably. Oh, that's weird. That worked out well before. Did I do it the wrong? Oh, it's too close. The floor is lava. <laughs> that's a fun one. I feel like that's over really far. Should be just to the left of the... Yeah. I feel like they've changed changed the the way that that goes. Is that so that is lined up with the edge? Uh, oh no! Okay, I do have it in the wrong spot. One tick over. I find it's hard to tell with the lifts until you actually build uh, or have goods on them. I find it difficult to gauge.
This was supposed to be my Devastator color, but it works very well for uh, Samor as well. I usually connect them to something to get them to the right spot. Uh, lifts. Yeah, no, that's fair. A good idea. This is going to be load. Train setting is load. And now we just have to figure out what's going on here. So the quartz is going to be bottlenecked because I'm, I'm, we've got 1,200 quartz plus another 300. So we've got, right? Yeah. I should change these as well. These are now not untapped they are oak clocked to minute weird that you move around in the world when you're using keyboard stuff this is normal so this will be overclocked to 300 per minute. Okay. Um, so that means, yeah, we've got 600, 1200, 1500. Do we need more than two belts? Um, 780 and 780 is not quite capable. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. That'll do 1,500. So we can combine... Uh, we, have, we have to split the quartz and have it combine into the other two belts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's just get everything down on the ground. And for that, we will I guess we'll use lift. So that'll be the first one. Can't remember whether it's two meters. I think it's two meters. Oh, it's snapping to the other left. Whoops. Uh, salmon quartz on the same belt might be a problem with too much quartz blocking the sam uh not if i separate them out before i combine them that's the idea
So we can do quartz. Quartz. And then along here, we will just... I guess I have to figure out the right height for that. So I need a smart splitter. So this is Sam and Quartz. So we'll do Quartz. And bam. And then none. The Sam is coming out the right and it'll be its own thing. Quartz is going out the left. And then all I need to do for that is just add a splitter. And how do I want that to go? Actually, maybe what I want to do is have the splitter be ahead this way. So I'll do the splitter here. I'll change this to be quartz here. Or I guess I could split the quartz with this thing and be smart about it. Uh, yes. So, wait a minute. I really put on my thinking cap. What if I do raw here and Sam in the middle? Yeah. Then I only need the one thing. And all I have to do is then loop that stuff around uh, where I can. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's quartz. And then I just need to do the poles again. These might be a little bit different in height. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't do the lifts on the right. Right height, that's fine. It's all temporary anyway. Right, so then all I need to do here is add a merger. Grab a lift. Why would you not work? That seems kind of silly. You're stacked on top of each other. Why would you... Why would you not line up? Yeah, I'm not getting the little chime. That's annoying. I wonder if it's a height thing. 
Maybe it's a height thing. Hold on. Don't seem to line up. Nope. Maybe it's just the order in which I built them. Something. Something was screwy. Uh, so I'll delete that as well. Redo the smart splitter. Five XP for I don't know what. The achievements are kind of weird. They're very low bar. So what should be happening here is the Sam should get filtered out. And the quartz should get sent around the sides. Does that make sense, everybody? Autosave does create some glitches. Not as pretty. But it's fine. Good guess. So I'm not seeing any quartz coming yet. There we go. So what we should see is the quartz go sideways. Yep. And this is this is about right because this is only 300 on a on a 780 line. We have officially automated the retrieval of Sam and Quartz. Good stuff. So now all we have to do is add the train cars back on the scavenger station. And think about what's happening with my roundabout situation. All of this stuff is way past what I've done, says Voice Presence. Most of it goes in one ear and out the other. But I get the gist mostly. It, it does take some practical use. I find that Satisfactory is very similar to Redstone in Minecraft, where like you need to visually puzzle through it yourself. Watching a creator like Total Eclipse is a really good, good shout because Total does a lot of tutorials. Just before I cross over here. So you can see that roundabout, I feel, would be better kind of like like in, in this space right here. Like almost centered over this. Uh, I tried to, I know I tried to center that track in the center of that river. You can sort of see my little, my little spacer stuff there. You can sort of see like 
there's that two that two white concrete in the middle is probably where I, I meant to put it or wanted to put it. Um, I don't know if that worked out in the end. Um, I like that there's this little bridge here, but we don't need this track anymore, this little off loop. Um, so I feel like one thing I could do is I could connect um, this, this station here could very easily be get connected to this little fork and that would solve this problem because this is the problem we're running into is that the train gets stuck in here because this is a closed loop unless you have a designation in the station whereas if I wanted to go from here to someplace else like Megatron or whatever I have to go through the roundabout which would be I'm not even what you want to call this the crazy twirly exchange is not a roundabout at all <laughs> There's two roundabouts stacked on top of each other connected vertically like it's wild um but yeah i feel like i feel like this was the wrong spot i feel like maybe possibly even where that little support is not that i want to point with that but like that right there might be a good spot to have the center of the roundabout i want to have it up high like this um, I also want to raise up the actual train station as well. Uh, the timetable. No path. Do you have a path now? I think you have a path now. It's a, it's a 3D roundabout. Circlotron. That's a good one, Void Presence. I'll like that. Somebody write that down. The Circlotron? The Cyclotron? Cyclotron? Cyclotron sounds like a Transformer name. Cyclonus was a Transformer. It's weird. I feel like my trains are not going as fast because they're not as loud. <laughs> I gotta remember to pull out just a little bit past here. Maybe what I'll do is is delete um, the first two pl platforms just so I can actually jump out. I wonder if it's just the overlap there that's giving me the issue. Oh, I, I was able to squeeze out that time. I wonder if you just glitch into the track or something. All right, we should put some of this aluminum in here. So, scavenger, my friend, where are you? Scavenger? You need to have two more cars attached to you. Transportation, freight platform, I'm not worried about redoing these from a decoration standpoint because um, I think I'm going to have to move the train station, so we'll just do this this way. And I did quartz in the first car, right?
still very bright. I can't really seem to figure out how to get colors to not be so, so luminous. You really have to go down. Yeah, I guess 15%. And we got Sam. This is going to be bright. Yeah, you really have to take it down to like a 15% for it to work right. And the Sam, quartz was 1,500. Anybody else want to type over here? I feel like that would be a lot easier to do. And that is 1,500. This is Sam. Sam was 300 per minute, I think, right? Do, 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 do. Yes. I keep on press. I need to put a map button on my, um, my stream deck. Uh, the thing is, you could just run over the desert or dunes and continue, um, continue stuff over there. What? Uh, oh, void presence. Even though I just restarted from 1.0 on Tuesday, I'm about ready to restart again. But this time in the rocky desert or dunes that to force me out of doing the same thing over and over and over again in the northern forest. Yeah. I think there's I think the the same mentality that people have, they want to start over, but it's better to approach this with your starter factory being a brute force temporary setup to get you through to tier five. And once you've got tier five, which I think is trains, then you know you can delete everything that you've got one bit at a time and eventually have your new factory swallow up your starter setup. Right? I think that's a really good way to look at it. Uh, these need conveyor holes. Looks like here and there. Now these are unfortunately going to be temporary. These do need belts. And that should give us access downstairs. We need another train car. And then now we just have to go throw this in a bin and see if I have room on the main bus. Did I label scavenger down here? I hope I did. There it is right there. What are those from? I guess it's from the from the train station. I was unable to hold control there for some weird reason. I don't know why.
Uh, these are all color coded, so let's do that now. First one was quartz. Yeah, like when I hold control, the first one tried to snap to the top. That one worked okay. Now, where can we send these? So these are being used. They're just currently not full of stuff. We could use those two belts. I'm going to have to cross it over anyway. Because this is going to be temporary. So, we could use... What of our first available... Main bus. Main bus, main bus, main bus. 22 and 23 or 15 and 16? Uh, 15 and 16 are used by wire. Maybe temporarily I use 13 and 14 or 21 and 22. Twenty one and twenty two would be the easiest. I would say. It would come in. Oh, that's gets used by coal. Yeah. Maybe we'll add a temporary side to this. That's probably the best way to do this. We'll add another one here. Basically, this is just going to help me get into the void storage or the, the dimensional depot faster. Yeah, we'll do, what did I say, 21 and 23? 21 and 22. 21 and 22. And we'll use the far left two. We just have to squeeze them out there somehow. There's going to be a little bit of juking and jiving here. One, two, three, four. Uh, should I go? Yeah, that makes sense. Like a glove. And then this one, we'll have to do a temporary pull here. Let's see if I can remember my techniques. Uh, that is going to be in that space. So, one, two. And I don't really need I don't really need to bring the quartz, do I? Wait a minute. I should really just focus on the Sam.
Yeah. I feel like I should just focus on the Sam. Stalag pipes? That's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, the quartz is not going to matter right now. I want to have it at the base, but I don't necessarily need it to be in production because the, there's no way the timing is going to work right. And what I could just do is hook the quartz up to the existing former quartz belt. So I could, what I could do for that is just have a different train. Yeah. All right. No quartz, just Sam. So we'll stick with uh, that belt. I'll just move it so that it's on this other one here. I wish it would show me across there that it would line up. Okay, so just the same ore. Just the same ore. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. I just realized that they fixed the, um, the painting of the lifts. They work now. Could you run Quartz and Sam in the top belt together out of the cave? Uh, no, I separated out of the, um, at the, at the station. So they come in separate cars. I could just put temporary, um, put them both on the same for now. I could do that too. If I wanted to just start making some silica. We've got enough Quartz for our production lines. I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, this is going to be four. So we've got, that's one, two, three. So one, two, I think that's how that goes. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, goes there. I really don't know how I set this up. It's not good looking at all. We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it is four above that. Something I would absolutely be down for is a different model for these stackable poles. One, two, three, four. We should be able to grab this now. And just do a lift. Cool. Is 
quickly paint it so we know what's up. And I believe I had labeled all of these, so we'll do there are two. And I think what I'll do is just add a little extra information here. Knowing that these are just temporary. So the only thing now is just to send uh, send scavenger on its way. Which should help also with our iron production as well. And I need to take another break. Uh, I think what I should do is go on the break first before I turn on the train. I'd rather be here and watching to see what might happen. So we'll uh, do the break thing here. It's because it's nighttime. Let's. Uh, nope. Uh, Megatron. Construction 2 and Devastator Hub. Cool. I'll be back in five or six minutes, folks.
So now we have to bring the Sam belt back to my main area. And I think we can start uh, automating a little bit more to get through the tech tree for Sam. Not aut like semi automated. Because I feel like before we start to build really large changes to the base, having that dimensional storage is going to be essential. Plus, it's just fun and new and cool. Thank you, Sandy. Something else I don't like is that when you turn off um, self-driving, the train comes to a stop before you can take over. I used to be able to just just kind of take over. But now it uh, now it doesn't let me. There's a couple of weird little quirks that they've changed. I'm not a big fan of. I think we're also out of Nobelisks. I should grab some while I'm here. Sam is going to be coming in right over there. Yeah, there it is there. So we've got scrapper removing, and I've not had any issues. So we'll do a quick save game, and then I'll turn scavenger on and see what we can come up with. Uh, turning on scavenger. Green Valley Scavenger. We should probably ride this just to see that it does what it's supposed to do. I think I also forgot to turn on unload on the train station. So I'll have to check that. I'm on the fence about changing the locomotives to be different colors for each train or whether I should leave them as all the same. So we should see those back two cars get loaded up. Yep, yep, yep. Weird that the animations are different. I guess maybe because this one has cars on it instead. The animations don't haven't really improved much on the trains.
could be able to see what cool to see what train it is that you see. Yeah, like see the red train, know that it's Scrapper, that kind of thing. I think Scrapper might be black. I don't remember. I color code the cars, and that's normally how I can tell. Oh yeah, Scrapper's Scrapper's black. It's a coal train. I need to jump off here very quickly. Okay, go, 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 go. No, nope. you need to be unload and am I gonna get there? You need to be unload. Oh, that was close. The unload animation is better, I think, than the load animation. Unfortunately, it's really quiet because I've turned down all the sound effects. It's really robust when it's uh, at full volume. Salmon quartz doing its thing. Sam. I've gotten pretty good at setting these up now. It did not take very long. I mean, the cave stuff took forever, but this part here at the, at the base did not take very long. See, that's what I want to do in a hypertube. Be able to switch from one to the other fast like that. Uh, I should put that on a hot bar somewhere. <laughs> Let's go with Now this doesn't need to be an aluminum belt, but I'm going to make an aluminum belt anyway. We've got our bauxite is going, which means that our coal, this is the coal from Scrapper that's coming in for our aluminum production. Hopefully we will not have any crashes. Oh, I'm out of aluminum again. If the wagons are different colors, it helps too? Yeah, totally. That for me is just what's inside, you know? Like, I just color code the cars to be whatever the item is. Blue for plastic, black for coal, that kind of stuff. Plus it makes things look kind of colorful. Transformers were colorful in the 80s. new oh that's just the milestone uh that
Whoops. I think I painted... Yeah, I painted the wall. Nope, wrong one. Still the wrong one. I, I wish the concrete in this game was a little bit easier to figure out how it's going to be colored. So here is where I think I need to raise these platforms back here. Uh, I want to have this continue to go kind of like underground, I think. So we're going to bring this in. I think we're going to shoot it off to the right where we can do a temporary SAM setup. I think that's the plan. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep these ramps. I think what is going to happen here is that we're going to keep this height for the floor here for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it's even with everything we've got going on out there. And also uh, the antennae of the um, awesome sinks are kind of popping up. And I feel like they would be underneath the new floor. Yeah. Just barely. Okay. So I could just bring it up here too. And that might be the easiest thing to bring it up into this section. Actually, yeah. Let's do that. Let's go... I currently have that stuff over there, but that doesn't mean I can't move these things. Because I'd like to keep an eye on it. It'll be a good test for when I actually do a proper storage system, too. Oh, there we go. There's the crash. Yikes. I wonder I wonder if it's got something to do with aluminum. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, there's an update available. Let's just, I'm going to get the update as well. An update available and needs to complete before Satisfactory can be played. Launch when update completes. Yes, I'll do that. Um, so that'll be good. Hopefully that'll help us in the long run. Uh, in the meantime, let's see if there's been anything added here to the Satisfactory Wiki. Constructor. So we've got... 120 SAM per minute equals 30 of those. We've got 300 SAM per minute. So I can do 60. Uh, and then once we have those, that's all tier nine, tier nine, tier nine. Any tier eight? Man research, right. So this, this is the one that we can do. Copper wire, um, that's what I need to make more of is the SAM fluctuators. We should be good with just one manufacturer. 10 per minute, that's fine. I've got lots to do. That shouldn't be a big issue. Does anybody know if there's been um, fluid bugs or... Anything like that? So the Green Valley scavenger train now has additions. We've got five is raw quartz. And 
and six is what's that? Uh, six hundred times divided by two ninety two. So okay. This is going to be a good example. Actually, we can got fifteen hundred here. So that needs more than one train car. So I should highlight that. And this is only going to be 300. So it will only need not even a full train car. Uh, that's going to be one where are those those are in rocky desert where are you epic 64 percent it's weird having no uh, game noise in the background i'm so used to the hum did we label the quartz in the rocky desert i don't know if we did no we didn't oh there it is there there's three of those now Plus the Sam or Sam, not Sam or And that is a normal node, and it is overclocked 250%. Nope, that's 350. And that's currently going to scavenger tree. I hear it in the background. We've launched. Let's just see what's going on here. Uh, 309, 10 minutes ago. We'll see where we are. Glad that I've got that saved. So 273, turning on scavenger for Sam. That's before we turned on the train. So Sam, uh, Sweet Sandy hasn't heard anything about 1.0 fluids. Yeah, I'm a little concerned that as soon as I turned, turned on scavenger, we experienced some problems. So let's look at... So we do have... Oh, man. To do that again we do have sam coming in let's quickly look at what scavenger does green valley uh that is going to aluminum production and steel production and and yeah so it's all aluminum and steel i kind of wonder whether the aluminum is as a problem we don't have bauxite turned on unlimited. This is just whatever we have stored up. But I'm wondering if it's if it's the if it's the fact that this is getting jammed. Like, why is that still? That seems really strange. Is that because the the other bauxite things are not going? I feel like that's supposed to be bauxite. Yeah, so eventually this will shut down.
And what's happening probably is we don't have enough capacity on the, the sink belts. But like this isn't a lot of stuff. This shouldn't be overloading our our game, right? There's a fair amount here, but it's not a lot a lot. Like that's not bananas. Oh, sorry, I put the drive sheet up. My bad. Thank you, Sandy, appreciate it. Um, I just feel dumb. Uh, what I was looking at was these machines here. Uh, they're not getting enough aluminum scrap, which means that these are not getting enough bauxite, which makes sense because the bauxite train is not turned on. And I thought for a second that because of the backup, all of our coal that's no longer getting used is being fed into the awesome sinks because of overflow. And so is our steel production. But like this isn't a lot. Like we were only using a few of our belts here. It's not like our overflow is really, really all that heavy, right? Like that should not be crashing the game. I don't think. Uh, the fact that these don't have, oh, they do. They're, that's just the, that's just the, the throughput line. I think these ramps are going to go. I think this entire area down here needs to be a continuation of the bus rather than sending everything. I see like we're offloading stuff here from these belts over to a secondary set of belts. And I really just think we should just have our main bus just kind of go and just hang a left and we'll just pull right from it and sink everything. This is where I think I'm going to bring the Sam up. Right there. And it's on that line, I think. Leaguer Gaming, hello, how's it going? Good to see you. We've uh, started bringing in Sam Orr into the base. Oh, I forgot to get more aluminum. I kind of forgot what I had done. So I think it was around 20 after 3 when I logged back in. I wonder if it's like a memory issue within the game. Like after you play for a couple hours, it just kind of tanks. I chose the wrong tube. I wish there was a way to... Does anybody know if you can cut the power to your hover pack? Like, can you press a button and just kind of, like, stop hovering? Oh, did I say Sam Moore again? Yeah, I'm going to say that a lot. I try not to, but... Especially when there's new people watching the game. All right, we can just create another one of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to go up to here. Let's move this. Uh, 
probably not a great spot for it. Where should I put that? Maybe here? And I'll move this as well. So we'll come up through the floor. I guess fairly central would be fine. And this is just me being fun and picky. Love that lifts are now unlimited when you're in there in the floor hole. So good. Oh, maybe not. They have a limit. I thought they could go as far as they could. Huh. They've put a limit on them. Interesting. That's good to know. Oh, maybe it has to go into another floor hole. Hold on. Do that right? I think I did that right. It's the floor hole thing, that's what it was. Although, can't say I really... That's not the right level. Oh, they don't have them marked. That's annoying. Floor hole to floor hole, yeah. There's an auto save. That's good. So, uh, we have 120 per minute. And we've got 300 coming in. So what I'll do is I'll make probably three of these. Uh, I'd say one, two, or not. Let's go the other way. What is in this little thing? Can you move these things into one another out of curiosity? No. I could just split it evenly. That would be the better idea.
Oh, that did not go the way that I thought it was going to go. And that goes down to 100 in each way. It's a Mark II. Oh, that is so nice. I love building with the straight mode. It's so good. So, so good. do those actually let's do that but we'll do it at uh, 80% no two let's do And then we'll just output that. Into a bin. Mm. I guess I'll do a couple of mergers. What's the rate? Very low. Oh, it's so nice. It's so snappy and nice to do that now. Love it. Uh, and then we'll just use a lift. Not bad for eyeballing, although this is going to need to be a two. And then this we can just manually feed the other things. I just need to turn it on with some power. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. Let's just try something here. I'm going to change, I guess, the swatch default matte shiny. All right, I won't mess with that just right now. Man, that's cooking. And now all I need to do is just load this up with the other things. So it needs 60, but we're making something crazy. Like 75.
Nice. Already at 18. So now I need to do is just add a couple of bins here. For the input. And you can't do that next to each other. The pain. the rate 50 and 60 no 50 and 30 one of them needs pipes surely I have more than that I might have to siphon off some pipes. And the other one was wire. Oh, the straight mode is so much easier to use. My gosh. It's awesome. It is awesome. Let's grab that. Very cartoonish. I'm okay. I'm here for that. I like it. And this is wire. Oop. It's a wreath. Okay. So that is going to do its thing. We will eventually get, very quickly, enough. Uh, we need 100 there. 200. 250, 280, so 350. Really, we just need a lot of them. I'm going to run out of pipes, I think, before that. Uh, which reminds me, where... Am I storing pipes anywhere? I know we're making them, and I saw an awful lot going into the awesome sink, but I'm not seeing much um, for down here being stored. those it's a lot of pipes and there's a lot of pipes that looks like it's all being sent off to the awesome sink yeah so why are these not moving Because we are not bringing in concrete, I guess? Heavy modular frames. Our, oh, because this concrete is based off aluminum. That's why. That's why those are not moving. Uh, that's okay. We can at least increase our pipe supply by pulling some of those off. What's the easiest way to do that? This is a conveyor splitter. 
I don't want to do anything under the ground where I'm not going to be able to see it. So we should maybe put a, a pipe bin back at the um, steel factory. Yeah, so there's all the pipes coming out. So those are the ones that are not moving, so maybe we'll use those ones. That noise, not fun. Um, let's just siphon off. I guess we'll have to put it on the next floor. Yeah. So we'll do a little bin right here. I feel like at the top of the stairs would be pretty obvious. Do I not have enough pipes to build the thing that I want to store the pipes in? <laughs> that's rough. Oh, that's funny. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Store the pipes, you need the pipes. Too many pipes. Uh, we are going to do a smart splitter, I think. Now, why are you not snapping? You're not liking the... Weird. Maybe if I do a lift. Yeah, so the snapping also still does not work on belts. They should snap. You get the line. but you don't get the actual snap point, which is too bad. Uh, overflow, please and thank you. find those pipes it needs to be close to the splitter merger for it to snap yeah this is such a cool looking area I need to do more with skylights I need to have more light more windows First hundred. What do we want to do? Do we want to do power augmentation? Or do we want to do... Um... The void thing. 
power augmenter, production amplifier. So that's for summer sloop, I think. Upgrade, dimensional depot, upload speed is 50%. Manual depot uploader, enables uploading from inventory. That's probably a good one to start with. And then dimensional depot, stack increases by one. I think we probably go with this one, right? So I need three Mercer spheres and that's it. Yeah, see these these effects are now super low too. Manual depot uploader unlocked. Storage dimension and pocket dimension now connected both ways and stable. Parts can now be uploaded to the storage dimension directly from the inventory. Note, the storage dimension now understands the boundaries of the pocket dimension and recognizes the distinction between matter belonging to the pioneer's inventory and matter belonging to the pioneer. The window within a window within the shallows within the deep, curling around itself separately, echoes strangely. I'm sure strange is the correct term for what this must feel like to you. Hmm. All right. Uh, inventory. We probably have to create the depot first. Organization, dimensional depot. Ah, so it requires those. That's why I couldn't build one before. So let's put that, I guess, over here. Snazzy. Oh, I see there's a Mercer Sphere kind of in the top of it there. Very purple. Drop items here to upload to the dimensional depot. Upload rate is 15 per minute. And then if I go into my inventory now, maybe there has to be something in the depot. Oh, well, that's slow, slow, slow. Okay. And then... There it is, there. Dimensional depot. Take from inventory before depot, or take from the depot before the inventory. Uh, drop items here to upload to the dimensional depot. So I could also upload, let's say, plates. And that upload speed is probably the same. Yeah. So at least I can upload from two different places. That's cool. And it looks like there's a bit of a... Um, like I could upload a, a bunch of stuff. Like I could add, add more concrete. Um, all this kind of stuff. And I could have... Search. Very cool. I like it. So what's our next step here? Dimensional Depot stack size, I think we go for Dimensional Depot upload speed, 50%, 25%, 12.5%, and 6.25%. So I need to do, that's three Mercer Spheres, seven Mercer Spheres. I only have 10. Maybe we do one of each. Balance that increase the stack size, but also increase the upload speed. I think that's probably a good way to go. Dimensional upload speed increased. Part of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. Loop the veins, use the flow, make the curve out of a line. Your shallow minds create shallow solutions, pretty ripples. 
Shallow mind? Pretty ripples? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. So now Ada seems to be aware of the other voice. I'm... On one hand, like, I think it's cool that they do it, but the fact that it happens every single time that you speak to Ada is a little tedious. I need more of those, but I should have plenty. Yeah. What's the sequence break, Ulanko? Dimensional expansion increased to 200%. Refining manipulation of SAM allows us to now deconstruct non-living matter down to its atomic components in one dimension and store it in basic bound states in another. We do not resonate with the tribute song. Do not worship at the window. Desecrate our temple gifts. This shallow serenade is sour and salt. My intention was not to encroach, if that is what upsets you, nor was it to dispose of material I do not waste. I think maybe I'm missing a little bit here and there because I didn't start from the absolute beginning again. So that just takes additional those in a summer sloop. Do I have a summer sloop? Uh, somewhere. Yes. Fifty-three. We don't have a hundred, I don't think. That's what's required. Yep. So we're a little bit light there. Weird how the icon glitches from time to time. Won't take very long. Uh, there's context for Edda be, being aware of the sphere voice if you collect enough spheres, but you can research that and get that line of her being aware of it before collecting enough spheres to get the context line. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, again, there's a couple of things I know I'm going to be a little bit lost on just because I didn't go back and start at square one. So I, st I still might do that. Um, if there's enough feedback from, from viewers, um, I'd go back and do like a starting zone thing. I, d I don't... Um, I wouldn't do it on this save. Like I would, I would go and just start fresh. I'm curious how the bio uh, mass stuff works out. I think the problem for me is that that bottleneck before tier five and uh, or the bottleneck to get to coal, I think, is a real a real thing that I just don't like doing. Wally879, hello, welcome in. I'm new. Uh, the new intro and tutorial are actually pretty fun with all the new lines from Ada, but yeah, the big commitment is to start over, yeah. Oh, I, I wouldn't necessarily start over and continue playing the save. I would probably start over, get enough of the story through to probably fuel power, and then I would bail and just come back here as if we had, like, built up 
this. Uh, we've got a bottleneck for wire. But we've got a ton of wire. So let's just put in like, I don't know. That many. Uh, do you want to know how many hours you have on the Minecraft server? No. Seven years of minimum 12 hours a week. Figure that out. It's not hours, it's it's probably days. I don't want to, I don't think I want to know. Yeah, so that's a little on the slow side. At least our stack sizes are now higher. Thousand concrete is decent on just to have on you, right? Or have access to. I think the thing with this would be to fill this with the things that you use for belts and for walls and foundations, right? Seven times fifty two times twelve is four thousand three hundred and sixty eight. That seems low, Lager. I'm sure it's a lot higher than that. It's also not going to be accurate if I looked at like days in game because like I use commands to change the sun all the time in game for screenshots. So it wouldn't be super accurate. It would be close, but it wouldn't be super, super accurate. What you could do actually, um, a really good ballpark for at least the last few years would be the playlists on YouTube for the Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Uh, every year of the Citadel server has got a playlist for it. I've got 110 days for in for four years, so it has to be so much more. Yeah, I mean, you got to remember, like, and you don't want to compare, of course, but, um, I mean, it's my job, right? So it's very easy to justify spending time in Minecraft um, when it's your job. Three more is all we need. Oh, we've run out of Samor. Why have we run out of Samor? Uh, that's interesting. Is the train just not there? I call it Samor. I know it's not Samor. I know it's Sam. I keep on making that mistake. Maybe we're just emptying, we're probably emptying out that bin faster than it's coming in. There's scavenger just leaving the station now, so chances are we should see the goodies. Yes, yes. Surprise it's taking that long. Something's not right. That scavenger? Yep, that scavenger. Why are you not picking up the stuff? We had it working a little bit ago. Don't know if I can see the train from here. Like the unload load animation, I might be able to. Oh yeah. There's Scrapper.
So it's leaving the station. I'm not seeing anything. We're not seeing the items on the belts, but that could just be the render distance. No, my last car is empty. Why is the last car empty? Maybe the station's not meant to load? Huh. I'm curious as to what's going on. Because I have quartz blocking the Sam. Ah, okay. It's set to unload, right? Unload. No! No! I'm stuck! <laughs> but shouldn't... Oh, I guess I need an awesome sink for the quartz then, right? I do find that you have to put awesome sinks on absolutely everything in this game. And I don't know if I necessarily like that. I guess I should have kept them in separate belts, huh? It's an easy fix that I'm not doing right now. I'll put the quartz into an awesome sink. That'll probably help. Yeah. Do the quartz and split it up inside the cave. Yeah. Where would we do that? What I could do is simply take... Uh, that is the quartz coming off of the Sam. So I could just take this quartz that's being siphoned off and combine that into an awesome sink, right? So that'll fix that. Hold on. Special awesome sink. And No, you're not going to let me do that? Seriously? Oh, have they... They've really changed the way that lifts work, and it's not good. You used to be able to get these things to clip in like that and make them look cool, and I think they've got gone away with it. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Wow, that's a pain. Power. 
Mark five, Mark five, Mark five. That'll fix that. Good timing, train. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier, uh, Sweet Sandy, and I, I sort of knew what you meant, but I thought that I had fixed it. But I only fixed it if we were doing something with the quartz on the Devastator side. Because the quartz is something I decided not to do something with, that bugged up the system. Uh, no, I need to wrap things up, Sweet Sandy. Who's live? Is, is Total Eclipse live? Because I'll send you all over to Total. I have stuff to do. And unfortunately, my Amazon stuff is not here yet. X started streaming satisfactory as well, Leaguer. Cool. Uh, if folks would prefer to go see uh, Exumavoid, then by all means. Um, I had been in Total's stream earlier and said that I would send people his way later today, so I'm going to send you all the Total. top of the the view platform place does look pretty cool at night too bad I'm gonna have to really adjust it the fact that we can't get in another trains is a real disappointment I mean they're meant to be transport trains not passenger trains Right on, folks. Well, uh, so far today, what we have done is partially automate our SAM or production. So I keep on calling it SAM or the SAM production for the MAM. Uh, we now have um, the Dimensional Depot, which is part of uh, the 1.0 release. It allows us to store items in the cloud. We can upload from our inventory. We can download. We can build from here if we want to. Uh, we can... Um, eventually get to power we're probably there now um oh there we go game crash what a good time to say goodbye <laughs> not sure what happened I'm, that's the second game crash in the last 90 minutes uh we've did a four hour stream with only two crashes that's not bad not not bad um we will of course be continuing to uh look at uh devastator in the coming uh streams on satisfactory and making the factory look a little bit nicer um, I am holding off a little bit just because I'm tentative about doing a lot of visual work on a save that may be a bit buggy. So we'll see. Um, for now, though, uh, we are going to um, probably focus on trains and getting things up and running in that respect. Uh, Leaguer Gaming, subscribing at Tier 1, 41 months. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much for the awesome support. Really, really appreciate it, Leaguer. Uh, We're going to send you all on to Total Eclipse, play in Satisfactory. They are doing a streamathon. They will be live for the foreseeable future. Uh, they have a lot of hours in the game. They do a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure you will enjoy your stream time there. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. I will be playing Satisfactory tomorrow, but I will be starting with the Lego stream as per usual. So 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours, starting some Lego, uh, probably for about an hour. And then we'll switch over to Satisfactory after that. So I will see you all tomorrow. Do check out social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. And patreon.com slash Joel Duggan to support the stream and join the Discord. Very easy, very simple, very affordable. I appreciate all of you. Sandy, thanks so much for the modding and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.